Thank you for lunch, Abby. This is delicious. Oh, it's my mother's three meat goulash. Of course, instead of pork, I put in summer squash, and instead of veal, I use eggplant. What's the third meat? Zucchini. Well, it must bring back memories for you. Mm. <laughs> is there any more? Sure, honey, I'll get you some. Abby, pork. you shouldn't be jumping up and down like that. You're pregnant. Well, thanks, Lair. <laughs> <laughs> What? Goulash. Oh, it's on the stove, pumpkin. <laughs> so, uh, Abby, how ha have you been feeling? Great. Uh -huh. We just had another ultrasound, and everything's terrific. We're having a little lower back pain, but that's normal. Have you been doing those yoga stretches I showed you? No. We tried, but they put too much pressure on our bladder. <laughs> if it's our bladder, how about you get up every 20 minutes and empty it? <laughs> We're also a little hormonal. So we probably shouldn't talk about this in front of us. Have we taken our prenatal vitamins today? No, I think we left them on our bed stand. Would you get them for me, please? Your bed stand or my bed stand? I'll find them. <laughs> so do you think he's going to get through this okay? You know, I actually asked the doctor to give him something to calm him down, but, well, you know the problem. Yeah. What problem? There's not a lot left out there that my dad hasn't built up a resistance to. <laughs> yeah, Abby, look what I found. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's your baby bed. You put a baby in that? Well, not just like this. First, you lay down a banana leaf, mm. and then a nice soft layer of moss. Moss? I brought it so you won't have to make a new one. Oh, darling. Mm. Thanks. But, you know, we're getting a crib. Crib? Why? Well, yeah, why would you get a crib when your baby can sleep on mulch? Honey, I count to ten at your parents' house. You always said cribs were just little jails for babies. I know. But, Dharma, I'm getting too old to chase a baby around in the middle of the night, honey. I can't tell you how many times I had to crawl under the house to fish this little rascal out. I was visiting Fluffy. Fluffy? That was a feral bobcat or a raccoon. Or, uh, we could never get close enough to tell. Sure was fluffy, though. Hey, here you go. Pillow for your back. Your reading glasses, slippers, and your aromatherapy candle. You forgot what I asked you for, didn't you? Oh, come on. It has to be one of these. Vitamins, Lair. I take them. They don't help. <laughs> Playpen for the day. This kid's gonna be under 24 hour lockdown. You know, there's a whole school of thought that cribs are fine. You wait. She's gonna put him in diapers. <laughs> I'm sure she'll use some environmentally correct cloth thing. Disposable cloth? It doesn't matter. Or kids should have free range tushies. <laughs> are you saying you didn't wear diapers at all? I was outside a lot. And inside? Hardwood floors. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know these people anymore. They are not my parents. Oh, come on. You wore diapers. Greg, you wear those awful things. You learn to hold it in. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're organizing the credit cards in your wallet by expiration date. That is not because I wore diapers. I read that in an airline magazine. Yeah, I didn't want to cause a big scene with Abby, but I really owe it to this baby to say something. If you think about it, it makes perfect sense. If the top card isn't expired, you know you're in good shape all the way through the end. Yeah, hey, Larry, put Abby on, will you? Oh, my God, you're kidding. Where? What? Okay. Thanks, Larry. I gotta go. Well, what is it? Your mother is taking my mother to buy a baby monitor in a cradle that rocks itself. <laughs> Sorry. My mother's a terrible woman. She doesn't know any better. Jade, I can't talk now. Kitty's got my mother. Jane? Greg? You, you do know that Dharma just left. She'll be back. Well, uh, is there something I can do for you? Thanks, Greg, but I need some personal advice, and that's not something you're good at. Okay. But uh, just for the record, another word for lawyer is counselor. 
Uh -huh. Not to blow my own horn, but I was a resident advisor in my college dorm. You know what? I probably could use a guy's advice on this. If you like, what's going on? Well, you know Pete and I are trapped in a hellish, loveless marriage, right? Sure. I think it's starting to bother me. Uh-huh. It's not all bad. Good. Our sex life's actually improved. Of course, you cuff any guy to a headboard and stick a ball gag in his mouth and he's gonna try a little harder. You know, I'll have Dharma call you as soon as she gets back. A baby leash? No, oh, trust me. It's a godsend. I never could have handled Gregory without it. Of course, in those days, you had to buy it in a pet store. Kitty, I don't know. All right, all right, we'll just put it by the register, and I'll see if I can find the chew toys. The chew toys? You know, pacifiers, teething rings, things of that oh. nature. Hi. Hey, what are you doing here? Larry told me you were here, so I thought I'd come and take you home. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm with Kitty. Yes, and we will talk about that in the car. <laughs> Quick, I'm double parked. What dharma? What's going on? Abby, look around. This is not you. Changing tables and jogging strollers and plastic baby tubs? Well, what's wrong with a baby tub? Dharma, it fits in the sink. You can put it on the counter. What happened to rain barrels in the backyard? <laughs> or taking a shower with mom. It's hard to hold a baby in the shower, Dharma. So? Remember how much fun we used to have playing that great sliding game? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a game. You were slippery and I kept dropping. <laughs> so? And there's always a sponge or a dog to land on. It was fun. No. I'm gonna do things a little differently this time around, hon. Why? Well, because that's one of the blessings of having a second child, Dharma. You get to learn from the mistakes you made with the first. Mistakes? What do you mean, mistakes? Baby. Your father and I were a couple of crazy young kids when you were born. You know? Oh, we did a lot of cool stuff, but Dharma, sometimes I think it's a miracle that you're still alive. <laughs> you didn't make any mistakes, Abby. I had a great childhood. Honey, we let Timothy Leary babysit for you. <laughs> he thought... He thought you were twins. We came home one night and he was, like, crying his eyes out because a giant flaming condor flew off with your sister. <laughs> Dharma. Oh, Abby, look at this darling bouncy chair. Oh, that does yes. look like fun. Okay, if you think this is better than being dragged behind the back of Dad's bicycle on a blanket, I can't help you. <laughs> you know Jane and I are trapped in an empty, loveless marriage. Sure. <laughs> but not everything about the marriage stinks. I mean, the sex is great. Well, you give her a pair of thigh-high vinyl boots and a hot glue gun, she can really stamp your passport. <laughs> Hey, honey, do you uh, need a hand there? No. I'm torn, you know. I, she bugs the hell out of me. But on the other hand, you know, I am wearing her underwear. <laughs> you know, maybe I should give her a hand. Oh, so you want to talk about this later? No, then? no, no, talk to your wife, not me. When she's angry, she doesn't listen. Wait till she's in a good mood. By then, I got a rubber ball in go, my Go, go, go. <laughs> What's all this? Yeah, Abby packed up my old stuff to make room for the baby. So... These are, uh, all your old toys? Yep. The remnants of what I'm told was my terrible childhood. Think it, things have not improved with your mother? She's lost her mind, Greg. According to her, everything in my childhood was a mistake. Well, sure, but, you know, you turned out great. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? No. Why would I want to do that? There's nothing wrong with the way I was brought up. It's this baby that's gonna have problems. You know she just bought for him? A jack-in-the-box. What does a baby need a jack-in-the-box for? Babies like to be surprised? Fine. But what happened with putting a mouse under a Dixie cup? I don't know why that went away. Kids don't need stuff like that. When I was little, I played with homemade blocks and puppets. 
Oh, I had this one toy called Shoe Boat. Shoe Boat? Yeah, it was this. It was a boat, and it was shaped like a shoe, and you could put people in it, and had little portholes that looked just like where the laces would go. Ah, here it is. <laughs> this is a shoe. Come on. I can see it as a boat. Ahoy the dock! Ahoy the shoe boat! Man overboard! I'll throw your shoelace! <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Stop it! It's a shoe, Greg! It's a stupid shoe! I can also see it as a shoe. Man, she was right. Come on, Dharma. I can't believe I've been defending all of this. I slept on rope, I played with mice, and this is a shoe. Yeah, honey, but you... Don't tell me it turned out great. You know, that was all I was going to say. Yeah, honey, yeah. This is a shoe, Greg. My whole childhood is a big joke, and she let me believe it was wonderful. Yeah, but you thought it was wonderful, so what difference does it make? The difference is now I know my mother's a hypocrite. Well, you know, she did some things that were wrong, and now she's going to do it right. It doesn't fix it, Greg. It doesn't change the fact that Abby's been lying to me my entire life. He asked me, this woman doesn't deserve to have another baby. Oh, Dharma, what? I don't... That's all I was going to say. No, Dharma, I don't. <laughs> It sounds like a guy with a tennis ball in his mouth. Hang up, it's Pete. Hello? Oh, my God, no. Okay, what hospital? What is it? Something's wrong with the baby. Okay, we're on our way. Get you something to drink, soda or something? I did this, Greg. Dharma, you did not put your mother in the hospital. I said she didn't deserve to have this baby, and look where we are. You were angry, and you said some things you didn't mean. Everybody does that. Oh, hey, good. Abby's okay. But they don't know yet about the baby. Can we see her? Not right now. It's gonna be at least a few more hours. Maybe you guys wanna go home and get some sleep, and I'll call you? No, we'll stay here. Larry, you need anything? No, I'm okay. I'm gonna go sit with her. Little help, guys? Whoever's up.
Young man. George. Hi. I'm so glad to see you. How are you? Still dead, but otherwise, no complaints. <laughs> it's been a while. Two years. That long? You lose track on the other side. There are no clocks. It's like Vegas. <laughs> George, my mom might lose the baby. And you think you made this happen? It feels like it. Well, if you did, they should put your picture up here on the spinning god wheel. Whether I did it or not, I was thinking it. Because you were angry. My parents let me believe my whole childhood was wonderful. Maybe it was. The one is Abby keeps saying it was a bunch of mistakes. Maybe it was. Maybe it was a whole bunch of wonderful mistakes. They're not helping. <laughs> Maybe people who played with boats that were really boats can't talk to dead Indians. <laughs> so what should I do now? I think I should stay here and pray. What do you mean by pray? I don't know, talk to the universe or God or the great spirit, whatever it is. Huh. So you're having a conversation with the great spirit. The maker of all things. I guess. And you're doing the talking? All right. Also, the machine in the hallway takes a buck and a quarter. <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh, Gregory. <clears throat> How is she? Um, I don't know. They're not telling us anything. Oh, Larry, what's going on? Can't get a straight answer out of any of these quacks. This one says he has to run more tests. That one says he's just mopping the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I bumped my head trying to get Abby into the van. And for all I know, I'm out cold in the driveway with Abby standing over me yelling, Get up, Larry! Get up! I'll find a nurse. Don't worry about me. It's just a little bump. <laughs> Unless I'm in the driveway, then you should send an ambulance. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna find Dharma. Hey. Hey, have we heard anything? No, I'm still waiting for the doctor. My parents are here. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you very much. You're a beautiful person, man. Just beautiful. I'll check back with you later. Great. Sorry about the quack remark. <laughs> the baby's fine. Abby's fine. They still think she can go full term. And I'm not in the driveway. <laughs> you gonna take her home? No, they wanted to stay for a couple of days just to be on the safe side. Can we go see her? Yeah, but they said just one at a time. Oh. Hell of a thing. Looks like the baby has a pretty strong little heart there. Just like his sister. Oh, Dharma. I'm really going to need your help with this baby. I know. No, you don't. Did your father tell you how I got to the hospital last night? I just assumed he drove you. No. <laughs> you had to take an ambulance? Uh-uh. He drove off without you and you had to take a cab? I wish. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be there for you. Hey, buddy. Hello, Jane. Pete. We have something we want to tell you. Forget it. I don't want to hear it. Whatever it is. 
ball gags, nipple clamps, the popsicle business. Just keep it to yourselves. Greg, what's with you? No, they... What is it? Well, since you're a big part of helping us come to this decision, we wanted you to be the first to know. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> you're getting a divorce? Yep. Why? Well, you know, we have a loveless marriage. Sure. sure. Anyway, Greg insisted we talk to each other. And after an hour of that... We realized we couldn't stand the sound of each other's voices. Next thing you know... One thing leads to another. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to have some people over for drinks to celebrate. Yeah, casual, no big deal. Some people will bring gifts. <laughs> we are there. I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, I know you can make this work. Oh, thank you. Come on, you want to help me throw your stuff out the window? Do I? <laughs> <laughs>